this guy moaned at least this loud. Oh! Thank you. Son of a bitch. Thank you, too. Oh, another special plump tonight. Tonight, I think we're kind of, we're going back to what I think made, we're going back to the kind of content that I think made the plump special. 
And it's what we do here. It's kind of our specialty at the plump here where we watch made for TV movies made sometime in the late seventies, early eighties with period correct commercials. It's a little niche, but it's what we do best here. It's always, it's always the best stuff tonight. We're going to be watching the 1980 ABC TV or ABC WLS TV, Chicago, be more specific. Uh, the after school special stoned <laughs> starring uh, Scott Bayo. Actually, it stars it stars Scott Bayo and the uh, the immortal Largo Woodruff. Who I had no idea who that was and I had to look her up that that actually interested me more than than Bayo. And I looked up her career, and she was in a bunch of, like, made-for-TV movies. But one of her most famous movies was a movie called The Fun House, which was a... It came out a year after Stoned, and it was just kind of like a like a slasher flick that took place in a fun carnival fun house. And I never... I hadn't seen it before. Um, all I know, it was directed by Toby Hooper. If you don't know who that is, that's the guy who directed the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre 1 and 2. He directed Poltergeist, and he also directed um, the uh, Dancing With Myself video, Billy Idol. He did other stuff, but that's the ones that stick out of my head. But he didn't, Toby didn't direct Stoned, unfortunately. No, that credit goes to, hold on, some guy, probably. Oh, okay, John Herzfeld. Does the screen look smaller? I don't know. I didn't adjust it. Uh, But John Herzfeld, who did... uh, he directed a he again. He was like a big TV movie guy. He directed a lot of TV movies, but he also he directed like the Ryan White story. That was a I remember that made for TV movie. He did a bunch of well, he did one after school special. Sorry, um, but he did do a movie. He did a movie called Two Days in the Valley. If you've never seen that movie. Basically, the main reason why you want to watch it is because it has a it has a twenty something topless Charlize Theron in it. That's pretty much the reason why you watch that movie. It also stars uh, Terry Hatcher, no nude scenes. Jeff Daniels, Danny Aiello, uh, Eric Stoltz, and James Spader. None of who also not none of who either get nude, which is disappointing. So, yeah, that's my little that's my little spiel. Anyways, back to this horse shit. Stoned is a um, j- uh, quick, quick plot synopsis here. Uh, Jack is a motivated high school student who smokes cannabis for the first time and falls in with a fast crowd. Will he wake up and realize what he's doing with his future before it's too late? Or well, we're going to find out tonight on Stoned. So let's switch over to the screen here. All right, November 12th, 1980. Let me know if the audio's good. Visit the stars at the Adler Planetarium. Bullshit! Regularly scheduled programming will not be seen at this time so that we may bring you an ABC after-school special. Stoned. Stoned. <laughs> Today on the After School Special, Jack Mellon gets tired of being called a square and turns to a crowd that shows him how to be cool. <laughs> Look at that. Smoking a month and Jack's a pro. <laughs> Temporarily, my problems just disappeared. <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't worth it. Super Stone Jack. But tell me something. Who's the real Jack? Jack. And Jack Mellon is going to discover the price of being cool. Mike. Stone. Jack Mellon. Wasn't that, uh... Wasn't that, uh... 
from Back to School. Wasn't that his last name, Mellon? Thornton Mellon? The ABC After School Special. I mean, he's Bale. You couldn't have, his his name couldn't at least been Maloney. It's the after school special. Before we dive into this, Bayo never looked stoned at, at all in this. I'm not sorry for the spoil. I, I don't even Bayo just he he. The guy never has a different look on his face. I've never see, he's always got the same expression on his face, no matter what he's in. Like look at Happy Days. Look at Charles and Char. Like does it matter? He, no. And let's be honest. I think Bayo was hitting some harder shit in 1980 than fucking weed. Hey, Mike, what do you call a guy who sticks his right arm down a lion's mouth? Lefty. You told me that one three weeks ago. Oh, yeah? All right. What's well, green and red and goes a 1,000 miles an hour, huh? What? Frog in a blender. Fuck off! Here's the last one. Ready for this? What do you call my brother Mike after the AAU meet? State champion. Stoned. Gonna get stoned. Gonna get fucking baked with Vinny Buffano. This guy, he, that's a sex offender. That's a that's a sex offender name right there. And introducing promising young talent, Largo Woodruff. She's got a bright career ahead of her. Come on, keep up with me. One month when I get my car, I'm going to be a free man. You going to buy Billy's Mustang then? If it comes down a hundred bucks, I can. Look, I'll take it out of my savings account. It's yours. Look, I think I can get him down, but if I can't, I'll keep you up in my back pocket, okay? Oh. Look, my brother's 27. Lunch? Jackie, there's nobody else you can eat lunch with? You're gonna meet me, yes or no? Look, next year when I go away to college, you're gonna have to find somebody else to eat lunch with. Next year is next year. Okay. Well, look, you got a pen, I left mine at home. Thanks. He sees dorky because he has glasses and and, a, and pens in his pocket. And his shirt is buttoned up all the way, and he walks like he's like holding in a shit. Hey, Melon, what are you doing? I'm waiting for the bully. By the way, yep, there we go. Watch it, Melon. Sorry. Watch where you're going, Melon. Melon head. <laughs> You think Largo got bayoed? I think she got. I think she got mayoed. Bayo mayoed. Because Bayo was man. He that dude. He hit anything that moved, man. <sighs> Can I buy a few joints? Dollar each. <laughs> Six. They said a lot worse than Melon had in high school. Dude, you got an impressive package. Thanks, bro. Oh, 
you put your weed in it. But those joints are straws. Is it, you, that, that was was that a hand washing? What the fuck was that? And they just have towels on a shelf. Real high budget high school here. Melonhead. Want to try some? Might turn you into a Casanova. Why not? What you afraid of? I'm not afraid. Just don't like pot. What? How, how do you know what you don't like if you've never tried it? I don't have to eat dirt to know I don't like the taste. That's right. You tell them. Oh, very good. Did your goody goody brother Mike tell you that one? <laughs> Last chance. Want to try it? Yes or no? No, thanks. End credits. He, he, he defeated the weed. A goon like him, pot would definitely do him good. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Millethead. You going to jerk me off back here or what? We'll return after these messages. ABC After School Specials, brought to you by Kellogg's. Great days start with breakfast. What was the name of the fucking elephant? Was he like a chocolate elephant, like Chaco? I don't even remember. You know, there's Tony Tiger and his fucking shithead, I don't know, what's that, his kid or something? And there's the Rice Krispie Elves, there's Toucan Sam, there's the Sugar Smacks Frog. There's the, the sun. I think it's Raisin Bran. What was the elephant? And great breakfasts start with Kellogg's. When I fly, feathers get ruffled. I'm porcupine. My name's Poppy. Oh, I wanted to fly south sooner. Silly goose. And miss sharing Kellogg's sugar corn pop cereal? Sugar, sugar corn, corn pops? pops? Do, Do these think, think they're good? good? They've got a big, sweet, crunchy corn taste. It's part of this nutritious breakfast. Yeah, the sun was raisin bran. I knew that. <laughs> oh, and corn pops was a porcupine? See, I don't remember that. Mmm, these do think they're good. Poppy, I like sharing sugar corn pops. Point is, they're so good, I get goosebumps. <laughs> Starburst fruit chews, a burst of refreshing food flavor for you. You know, I don't know why Starburst just, like, said fuck it and just just, just made them nothing but the pink ones. Because the, the pink ones are the only real good ones. Tempting new flavor, tasty tangy cherry. There's a burst of refreshing food flavor for you in Starburst fruit chews, naturally and artificial. Well, see, 1980, I was still quite little, so I'm like, yeah, I'm in that like on that cusp where like I'm. Some of this stuff looks kind of familiar, you know, but not really. Really flavored. Now back to our story. They got rid of the line. See, I always ate the, the pink ones. If I ever got a pack of Starburst, I ate all the pink ones out. I like to eat all the pink out. You know what I'm saying? She's dreamy. Look at that fucking resting bitch face. Holy shit. Were they looking at each other? That was weird. Muy caliente. Felicidad. Okay, today we have a new girl in school. Her name is Felicity Nodell. It's nice, but straight. All right. Buenos dias. Did he say nice, but straight? I told you. I told you there's a whole, like, thing. These guys are, like... I think it's very progressive for 1980. We have a bunch of like openly gay jock type kids, right? Felicidad. 
Alan, Alan, dígale, buenos días, felicidad. I prefer to hit on lesbians. Buenos días, felicidad. Encantada. Yeah. All right, now I have your test from last Friday. And I must tell you, uh, I thought scores would be a lot higher. Yeah, a lot of you people let me down. Okay. You guys. Yeah. You guys have your head up your culos. Hey, que bueno, hombre. Good. Uh oh. Siesta. One of those trash cartoon cinco said. I'm sorry, I didn't get much sleep last night. In Espanol? You no sleep all last night. Quieres ir a la enfermera? No, I'm fine. I don't want to go to the no nurse. The no what? Levantate. Son, you're a high as a kite. Stand up. Yeah, it'll be harder for you to fall asleep on your feet. Levantate. Oh, get up, get up now. Now I can't see the board. Well, it shouldn't make any difference to you. <laughs> okay, now everybody, turn to page 32. Do I have to stand like this the entire period? Look, Teddy, you don't want to stand, you don't want to stand, and you do us all a favor. Don't come to this class stoned. Trouble. Fuck. Okay, everybody, open your books up. Turn to page 32. Get out your homework. I want to make sure everybody had better have done their homework. Let's go. Happy Monday. I want you to remember, all these other meets were warm-ups to that state meet. That's the one I lost. That's why I didn't qualify for the Olympics. Jack, eat your broccoli. Mom never used to make me eat it. Well, eat it anyway. Dad's making you eat that shit. That looks like sh Is that broccoli? What the fuck? So after school on Saturday, I want you to come home. Why is there just a plate of, of a sh shitload of bread on the table? Like, are they really going to eat that much bread? And this was that time when, like, everybody just, like, everybody just drank milk. On Saturday, I want you to come home after practice. You eat, rest up, say an hour, 2 30. I'll take you through a workout. Hey, Dad, I got 93 in my Spanish test. Yeah? Yeah. Good. Oh, my. The back page of the magazine is a recipe for, you, for a protein drink. It's got vitamins, minerals, a whole shot. Take a look at it. Uh. Mike? Yeah. The first time you met Donna, uh, What'd you say to me? Hi. What? Hi. Let's see, you just smile and said hi? Who is she? Who? Her name is Felicity. You see, she's new in school, and uh, I figured I had a chance before everybody told her that I was a melon. A fucking loser. Hey, who called you a melon head? Don't get mad, Mike. Look, you're just a little shy, that's all. There's nothing wrong with being shy. It's all right. All right, look, forget about what I said to a smiling high. I say, don't go beating her up being a 27-year-old, you know, high school student. You don't want to start beating up minors, dude. Hey, I'm me and you're you. We got to find your own thing. Uh... Your riddles. Walk up to her and tell her a riddle. I bet she's never had an approach like that before. You really think that'll yeah. work? You walk right up to her and you tell her a riddle. That's a great way to break the ice. Yeah. 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 Uh, what do you want, melon head? What do you put on a sick pig? Are you talking to me? What do you? I don't see nobody else around here. Put on a sick pig. <laughs> Oinkment. That's what you put on a sick pig. Uh, you're yeah. Yep, yeah, that did it. Oh no. Oh no.
Le Hooser. We'll return after these messages. Hey, give us a hand. We're building a better breakfast. Let's... Yeah, in this case, so far I'm advocating for him getting stoned. This is doing nothing to dissuade me from, from weed. That, that's a breakfast with foods from at least three of the four food groups. The out for orange juice from the fruit and vegetable group. Here comes milk from the milk group. Fuck off! Cornflakes and toast from the bread and cereal group. Now that's a well-built breakfast. Yep, it has the energy you need for a better start each day. Build a better breakfast! This is when they were still put, they started pushing the milk. It's tomorrow! This better breakfast message is from Cal... So what do we got here? We got like a shit, like look at that big hunk of ham and some toast and an egg. That's not so bad. We got a sauce. We got a link here. What is that? French toast and a grapefruit. We got some banana slices in a cereal, I guess. And toast. We have pancakes and bacon. Kellogg's. Carrie, she knows what she wants, something better, so she switched from Scope to Lister. That's right, I always just fucking take a bottle of Lister, a Lister, yeah, fucking Lister Mint with me on the fucking beach. It's fresh minty taste lasts long, and so does my fresh breath. And she colors, she's color coordinated with her, with her Lister Mint and her car. Eric's the kind who wants more zest out of life, so he switched from Scope to new Lister Mint cinnamon. Oh, and he's got the cinnamon. It's refreshing cinnamon taste last long. Oh, could you imagine how fucking nasty this shit tasted? On too. And so does my fresh breath. Fresh minty taste. Zesty cinnamon. They passed, passed our, our test. test. Just fucking floss your teeth and shit. You'll be you don't even need that shit. Listermint and new Listermint cinnamon. They taste as good as they work. The Crayola Caddy. It's fun to create with Crayola. A sturdy orange revolving tray holds crayons for you. Forever sleep. Yeah, that was all. That was professionalism on her part. Markers, paints, and brushes, and bright watercolors to Crayola Caddy. Whatever you need for colorful fun is right before your eyes. You may not be an artist, but... Oh, 1980 when all the boys had that god-awful, like, fucking poop clop hairdo. Fun, you win the prize. Cause it's fun to create with Crayola. The Crayola Caddy comes with everything you see here. What's so special about an Oreo cookie? It's a creamy licking chocolate sensation. Oh, R E O. It's a creamy licking chocolate sensation. Oh, oh they're just so creepy. There's only one Oreo cookie. Creamy, luscious inside, real chocolate. There, that's the only time I can drink milk, like a glass of milk, is if I if I have an Oreo. But cookies outside. It's a creamy, licking chocolate sensation. Oh, Oreo cookies from Nabisco. America's cookie jar. Now back to All our right. story. <sighs> Smoke weed. Smoke weed. Mike, aren't you afraid you might hurt yourself? What if you pulled a muscle? What are you doing? Oh, nothing. You want to work out? I don't need muscles. I have brains. Just kidding. You're not going to work out all afternoon, are you? Shh, I can't concentrate. I thought we'd do something. I am doing something. I, I, I mean, together. Just pick up some weights. Yeah, chart. Yeah, Urban Cowboy. Was this Gambler? This is kind of the Gambler era too, wasn't it? Don't wait for me. Want to do laps? Hey, I told you I'm working out. Later, I mean. Later, I'm going out. Great. Where do you want to go? Well, you're not going out with Donna, are you? You went out with her last night. I'm going out alone. I was going with Felicity. Alone? Yeah. 
I'm gonna spend an hour alone. You know, every six months or so, I like to go out and spend an hour alone. What the fuck's that mean? Why? Just because. Look, I'm a little anxious about the meat, and I just want to take a long drive and be alone. You can talk it over with me. Jack! Jack! Get off of my back! Give me a break! Oh, that sounds like a song. Jack! Get off my back! Give me a break. Why do you have to count on me to fill every free moment of your life? You hang on my neck like an anchor. An anchor. Get out of here. Donk. He came so close to smacking his head on that bar. Shouldn't do that without a spotter. Out of my way, turkey. There's the fucking stoners. Come on, man. What do you want? Just walking around. Hey. Here, smoke this. <laughs> you know that was some lame-ass weed back then, too. It didn't even hit it. Oh. Take it slow. Take it slow. And hold that in. It's <laughs> slower. Hold it in. <laughs> so funny. We are so high off cannabis. <laughs> you don't feel anything? Sometimes the first time you smoke, it doesn't affect you. And so I gave him back his marijuana cigarette and went about my day. Oops, getting late. I gotta go home. If you really want to learn how to get stoned, come by my house tomorrow morning. I'll get you stoned. <laughs> Jack, come on. Let's go, melon head. Come on. What is that fucking music? <laughs> All right. What's up with them shorts? How do you want yours, medium? Yes. Yeah, I got that. It's my turn tonight. I'll do it. I don't mind, really. It's my turn tonight. I'll do it. I don't mind. Yeah, those are some shorts, man. Those are some tripper shorts. Really, it's okay. How lame is this guy? He smoked weed and he's, he got even more boring. Those are, yeah, those in mom jeans. I'll tell you what, those might be a thing, but they're not a fucking thing with me. Holy shit, you're stoned. <laughs> come on in. Oh, come on. Yeah. Not you. Oh, come on. Oh. All right. Fuck you then. Where are your parents? Working. You don't want to be the old friend that had the weird balls. Yeah. I don't want to see him. No one else wants to see him. So, yeah, we own a deli. I'm setting up for breakfast. You play that? Not really. It's 
probably not a Les Paul. It's probably like a Lotus or something. <clears throat> Come on, man. That is some serious, like, prog rock stoner music in the back. Yeah, that's a lawsuit Ibanez back there. Or? Hold it. (coughs) (coughs) It's killing my throat. And this, yeah, I know. Before, like, they started getting sued for copying Fender and Gibson and Martin. Takamini was the same way. Takamini had the lawsuit era guitars, where they looked just like Martin's. <laughs> Even the logo looked like Martin. It just said Takamini. Lucky I'm a patient man. That's a shop class bong if I ever seen one. <coughs> Is that fucking Carvelli singing that song from Cotter? Oh. It's a slide. There you go. I'm starving. So he, so he doesn't even get high. He just goes straight from smoking it to getting, <laughs> to, to getting the munchies. Are you high? My who? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Put it in the... Oh, you fucking slob. Everything's so green. (laughs) Yeah? Everything's so green. Look at that tree. Look how it's all bent and twisted. Hey. It looks like old man Eber. Wow. I must have passed that tree a hundred times. How can I have not seen it? Seen what? Old man Eber. Where? He looks just like that tree. How can I have not seen that? This grass makes you see things clearer. I thought it was supposed to... Yeah, don't trust anybody that calls it grass. Clear things up. Hear that song? Great song. If you think the time moves... Yeah, see, this is what happens. Yeah. You gotta light it, dude. Fucking eating all the ice cream, Tommy. Take one. What was that? <laughs> My stupid brother. <laughs> See, he's already a lot funnier.
get over there. <laughs> What's the combination? <laughs> if I knew it, I could open it. <laughs> That's enough books. <laughs> what do you got first? <laughs> what? What do I got? <laughs> you got your books. <laughs> what do you got first, period? So did they? Did he smoke before school? Or is this after school? Or the next day? Jim. <laughs> I can't go to gym like this. I have to class. <laughs> I'll meet you right outside the line. Oh, God. That just. Yeah, see, this is what happens when you just use Listerine and you don't properly floss. Yeah, I, okay. I didn't know he st if he stopped. Who the fuck has time to stop at somebody's house? I don't know. I just. I, I don't know. I didn't have time. <laughs> Go. I got a test. You're a test. <laughs> 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 like really late or really early to school. There's like no one else in the hallway. Nobody fucking hears him. <laughs> yeah, it's Saturday. Hey, that locker's open. What's in it? Let's take it. What am I doing? Uh, Jim. That way. <laughs> I'm just going to tack pieces of paper to this board. <laughs> oh, she must have liked his shitty joke earlier. Hi. Uh, this isn't helping. <laughs> now it's the I, I got high and just started running away theme. Run! Almost racked himself. <laughs> Super Jack! <laughs> All right. We'll return after the. Yeah, it's he's overdoing it. These messages. Every blink of your lashes can give mascara a chance to speckle, smudge, and splotch. That's why Aziza Ew. demonstrates its mascara with sealer. Just brush it on, and it won't come off till you take it off. So the long, lush look you see is the look you keep all day. Without Helen Hunt jumped. I remember that. Or like the, was it at the episode of Saved by the Bell? I'm so excited. Hold on. Shut. Alexa, cancel. 
What did I say to trigger that? It smudges. It won't come off till you take it off. Aziza mascara with sealer. Nobody wears a winter smile quite like you. There's winter magic in Ugh. the air. You're trying something new. All over town, fun can be found. You're reaching for some too. You're the reason. What is this a commercial for? Is it for a commercial for gum or something? Oh, it's McDonald's. Happy times, silly times. You're up, you're this is McDonald's used to do commercials for kids. Everything was marketed towards kids. It was happy, fun, family fun. They don't do any of that shit anymore. Roll, that was Renee Russo. What the girl? Who the girl? Which which one was Ren, Renee Russo? All over town, fun can be found. You're reaching for some right there. Oh, eyeliner. I was about to say Renee Russo was older. You know what? You're right. Take it off, Aziza mask. By Prince Machabelli. Gara with sealer. Nobody wears a winter smile quite like you. This winter magic. All right. Big Mac fries, hot apple pies for you and me. That was when they still fried, put the fries in animal fat. <laughs> Tasted great. Was horrible for you. to hold up her head. Mattel's new Love and Touch baby doll. Oh, real soft. Uh, looks like Judy Garland. You can pretend she's a tiny armful to love and take... It's like <laughs> pilled out Julie, Judy Garland. ...care of because she can't do anything for herself. With Love and Touch baby, you can pretend she's newborn and helpless and imagine then you're the loving... It's, love. it's, it's baby Liza. She a little baby Love, Benzo. Love and Touch baby doll comes in a yellow sleep suit with a bottle. New from Mattel. Now back to our story. I don't know, man. I, I mean, I knew a lot of stoners in high school, and nobody ever acted like this. These guys are lame. Oh, no, 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 no. This stuff is ten times better than the weed guy last week. <laughs> this is the kind of shit we would have watched in health and safety class, though. And I would have just, like, fallen asleep. <laughs> Smoking a month in Jacksonville. <laughs> I know they're all like, what is it with them all being in that tiny ass stall that's like meant for elementary school kids? I'm telling you, they're circle jerking behind that stall door. <laughs> give me three of those joints, man. Hey, Jack, give me that. There you go. Joint comfort. <laughs> yeah, some people would smoke in the like cigarettes in the bathroom. That's about it. Oh, yeah. This is the Bayo Mayo theme right here. Oh, he's totally stalking this broad.
Oh, you don't know how to skateboard, Bayo. Boy, this broad is oblivious to the world around her. Like, good going, Largo, or whatever your name is. She's on goofballs, though. That's She's hopped up on goofballs. She's not on weed. Remember me? You know, you're lucky you didn't get caught. Where'd you go, anyway? I flew away. I'm Super Jack. Yeah, I heard. You heard? I heard. What'd you hear? Is something wrong with your ears? Waxy buildup. <laughs> you're ridiculous. No, I'm Jack Mellon. I know who you are. You mean I'm not Jack Mellon? I found out who you were. Don't believe it said they word about me. Don't believe it said they word about you? You know, you're making me dizzy. You're getting me dizzy. Wait, let's start over, okay? Okay. Hi. He doesn't look anything. He's always got the same dopey fucking look on his face no matter what he's in. Does he have a draw that's a is that a drawing of him or is that Albert Brooks? Well, I said that. I said, you know, during the at least during the filming of this, you know Bayo was hitting shit way harder than fucking weed. You kidding me? This is eight nineteen eighty, man. PCP was 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 hitting. Angel dust. Click a juice. Jack. Jack. Yeah. Are you a Lego maniac? You all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm great. You know where the Lone Ranger takes his garbage? Where? To the fucking shitter. That's where we're gonna bang. To the dump, to the dump, to the dump, <laughs> dump, dump. <laughs> you wanna make a frog float? I don't know. Come on, a frog and two scopes of vanilla ice cream. Gross! What do you stay up all night with these things? Well, I usually try them out of my brother. What? You know, I was thinking. Just, I just saw a black guy on a unicycle. You never see that. So he's just some dorky white guy. A lot, don't you? With a handlebar mustache. How'd you get a name like Felicity? I hate it. How'd you like to go around with a name like Felicity? Every time my father gets transferred, we move, and it's hard enough making new friends without having a name like Felicity. Everybody thinks I'm some. Yeah, that was like a that was like a circus. Yeah, the giraffe unicycle. I mean, it's 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 enough to just see a unicycle. But then a specific kind. Somebody, I'm, I'm not. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's like a guy having a name like uh, Morris or Benjamin. Or shit, fuck. You know, you're beautiful. You really are. This is act. This is probably how he actually talked to women back then. Who am I saying? This is how he fucking talks to him now. What light upon yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Felicity is the sun, and I am the moon, floating high in the sky, going by, by, by. <laughs> Hasta mañana, Felicidad. Until tomorrow in the next chapter. Adios. And hi ho silver. I know a lot. Almost death and dog shit. <laughs> 
A lot of you people are wondering why I decided to hold class outside today. Because I want to talk to you informally. Today I'm I'm not Senior David. Wait, was that weird editing right there? Do you see that? I know a lot of you people are wondering why I decided to hold class outside today. Because I want to talk to you informally. Today I'm, I'm they not did. Senior David. They just did a do you see that? Today I'm Yeah, he talks Yeah, he talks about Trump. Oh, he's eating out some 50 55 year old broad. I did the whole class outside today. Because I want to talk to you informally. Today I'm I'm not Senior David. Today I'm just <laughs> they, they they had to put that in there. They had to, like all right, look, we got to you got to we got to have you put these two words in cuz otherwise this movie's just not going to make sense. Doug. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk to you about uh, a plant. It has a Spanish name, and it's getting in the way of my teaching. It's called uh, marijuana. All right. <laughs> marijuana? Hey, what's that? Another new girl in school, Doug? <laughs> yeah, it's very funny, Jack. Hey. You know, you've been very funny lately. Yeah, when you're stoned, everything's hilarious, isn't it? Well, how do you know how it is? Have you ever tried it? Yeah, you have. Oh, I've tried it. Oh, he's good. You hear that with the with the the cicadas in the background? He's gonna start having a nom flashback. Do 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 do. Yeah, I smoke, but I quit. Why? Because grass made things seem better when they really weren't. A few years ago, I was I was feeling. My parents decided to split up. And uh, it hit me very hard. And so I smoked, and temporarily my problems just disappeared. <laughs> yeah, grass is great for that. <laughs> Listen, I was... <laughs> Magalingus, yeah. Oh, God, I just saw that. <laughs> just running away from my problems, because when I came down, my parents were still getting divorced. But you had fun. And it was my fault. In the meantime... <laughs> nah, but... Yeah, I did, didn't I? But it wasn't worth it. Look, I just read in this in this government survey where, where they think that grass could cause uh, chromosome damage or sterility in males or birth defects in women. I mean, a guy might not be able to have kids if he smokes a lot. That's a lot of bull. They're just trying to fool us. Okay, beside chromosome damage or, or getting busted, which is bad enough, if you people, if every time you have a problem... What do you mean, you people, Doug? You just get stoned. If you just avoid your problems instead of facing them, you're never going to know how to deal with them. You're never going to learn how to. You're never going to learn how to cope with them. This makes me want to smoke weed. Actually, this makes me want to have another drink and take a quick piss break. That's my segue. <laughs> Hold on, here. Let me switch over here. We're going to be right back. Oh my God, there we go. Right back.
so nice. That was a wonderful risical piss break. But unfortunately, we have to return to Doug. That's your favorite piss break tune? That's a good one. It's It, it just captures, it, it really puts you in a mood, you know? All right, back to Doug. Does that make any sense? Does it? Fuck off, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. Now I'm never going to know what I'm capable of. <laughs> Oh no, he's having a change of heart. Fucking pretty boy over here with the vest. Look at you with your fucking vest. Come on, man. You didn't buy that baloney. <laughs> Doug was dishing out. Well, how do you know it's all baloney? That man is a teacher. Oh, be so gullible. <laughs> <laughs> Doug. <laughs> Uh, this the guy with the bad with the the dead tooth and the the god the awful stoner laugh needs to get kicked into a wood chipper. Hey man, ain't that your lady? Yeah, call her over, Jack. Come on. Ah, come yeah, on. on, do it, man. Here, Jack. Go fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Felicity. Come here. <laughs> oh. Hi, Jack. Hi. Uh, these are my friends, Teddy <laughs> and and Alan. Oh, Jesus Christ! Run away, Felicity. Hi. Hello. Uh, this is Amy. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna <laughs> snake his almost snake his old lady. <laughs> A bunch of lesbians. <laughs> hey, what are you waiting for? Let them enjoy. Come on, snub. Man, I could not stop laughing. Yeah, me too. Hey, flunk that Spanish test. Are you planning to move to Spain? <laughs> no. Then so what? Yeah, but old Doug knows I was stoned. I guess you'll have to start intercepting the mail. Huh? <laughs> He's old yeah, Doug. a salacious crumb. Yeah, him and his fucking dead tooth. Wrote, wrote my old man a letter. Yeah? Luckily, I got to the mail first. Yeah. It's a quarter to eight. Aren't you going to school? I haven't got the energy. <laughs> too tired. Tired? I can't miss school again. Uh. Uh. Hold me. Second thought, such a long walk. Is he wearing a child's t shirt? Something from the girls' department? I better rest up for that walk. not upset about that spider thing, are you? It was just a joke. Yeah. Stone goop, right, Jack? Yeah, I was ripped. Is that why you've been cutting school so much lately? Yep. You were high when we first met, weren't you? 
When? You know, that time outside the classroom. Oh, oh, yeah, I was gone. And again, that time when you saw me dancing? Yeah. You just can't be you, can you, Jack? What do you mean? You know, I just realized something. I'm standing here talking to you. And I don't even know. He turned into De- shit. He, he wishes he was Damone. At least Damone got laid. Who you are. Hey. I mean, you know, as far as his character in the movie, obviously we know Bayo in real life got laid. On me. A little too much. Yeah, right. Super Jack, huh? Super Stone Jack. Oh. But tell me something. Who's the real Jack? Jack. What are you getting so mad at? Because I liked you. Because you were different. I mean, you're really funny. You're witty. You're... That wasn't really you at all. Yeah, he brought dog Jennifer Jason Lee, that's right, for like a whole five seconds. And then knocked her up. Forget it! Such a poop head. We got timeout printers. Is that what that says? Shirley's Dance Studio. Encore Drama School. Uh, something film video company. I thought she was going to like this shirt. We'll return after these me- Yeah, to Jackson Brown. No, didn't... No, wasn't that... that? Yeah, when she... No, that was the stereo salesman guy. Right? What was the stereo salesman, the first guy that that, that banged her in the dugout? Was his name like Rick or something? Da, 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 yeah. Messages. I think if you sold stereos in the eighties, your name had to be Rick. I think that was a job requirement. Juicy orange, wild strawberry, and now brand new banana. Bubblicious, yeah, tell me fucking a bunch of stoners from the 60s and the 70s weren't making these commercials back then. Okay, so there's the elephant. What's the name of the elephant? Never do it. You just need a little inspiration. It's time for Cocoa Krispies. They are so chocolatey. Thanks, Tusk. And when you get it. Tusk. See, I don't remember this one. I don't remember the, the elephant. Taste of them, you'll trumpet happily. Oh. Tusk. Watch me blow out the other end. Even the milk turns chocolatey. You can start your day with a nutritious breakfast, including Kellogg's Cocoa Krispies. You're right. Cocoa Krispies are chocolatey good. He's playing this. Yeah, Cocoa Krispies was... Man, I, I'm thinking of Cocoa Pebbles. Cocoa Krispies was just like Rice Krispies with chocolate. Song. <laughs> sort of. The camping trip was great, but your Bobby lent my Tim his aim. Now, Tim wants aim because it tastes so good. So? With Timmy's cavities, he's got to have a fluoride with proof it works. Aim is a fluoride. Clint- Why are we having this conversation, da- Janet? Oh, look at that fucking, look at that finger and that nail. Look at that talon. Proven to reduce cavities. Because Bobby likes the taste, he brushes. Really brushes? He gets great checkups with AIM. Great checkups? This group. This kid's got his shit together. Peter pledges to switch to AIM. <laughs> Take AIM against cavities. AIM is accepted by the American Dental Association. Once upon a time, there was a little girl with a red bottom, which made her very unhappy. One day, a handsome prince came to her rescue. I have a magic power. I don't, I don't like where this is going. What did he say? It's Johnson's baby cornstarch. It's oh, so okay. absorbent, it helps soothe and prevent chafing and irritation. And her daddy was right. Her bottom felt better. Her tears dried up. Yeah, I don't think this is a commercial you'd see now. I, I just, I don't know. It's weird. 
and they lived happily ever after with Johnson's baby cornstarch, the powder that works like magic from Johnson & Johnson. Yeah, it's like a fucking Disney commercial for putting powder on your baby's red ass. Now back to our story. Morning. Morning. A bowl of ice cream at 10.30 in the morning? Yeah. I have the munchies. You're gonna get fat. Hi, Donna. Hey, 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 Donna. I gotta get down to work. I'll see you guys later. Okay. What is going on here? And, ladies and gentlemen, that was Donna. Why don't you eat something healthy? Why don't you have an apple? Why should Or a whole fucking watermelon. Should I? I don't have a big swim meet in two days. Are you high? Go out and have that picnic with your girlfriend. Leave me alone. Yeah, what was up with Donna? I don't know. She just kind of walked away. I want to. I want to meet Donna. Some, I want to talk to Donna some more. Jack, I'm asking you a question. Are you stupid? What business is it of yours? What I am? Hey, your girlfriend's waiting for you. Have fun. It is my business, Jack. Jack, I'm asking you a question. Get off my back. I'm talking to you. <clears throat> None of your business. Don't, yeah, now you, he's, you, because you did that, he's going to look at it. That's addressed to Dad. What of it? What are you doing? I'm making confetti. Hey, Jack, what's gotten into you? Yeah. yeah. Fight. You like that? <laughs> you like the green? Yeah, I kind of like it with the white trim. I do like that in the wood floors, which is something you didn't see a lot in the 80s, right? Because boomers always carpeted over everything back then. Why has he Go always away. got that same fucking shirt on? Like, was this picture taken five minutes ago? Let's not talk about it. You want to do some laps? No. Come on, we'll do some laps. It'll be just like old times. Why don't you get Donna to row the boat? Yeah, why don't you get Donna? Let's, let's see Donna again. Ten minutes! Five. Look at that bed. One of those dresser beds. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Shit. Drawn, that's how it is. Uh, we're, yeah, we're getting close here. He might. 
I can sniff Drake. Drown even. We got Snagglepuss in the chat. <laughs> Amy. I love it. There he goes. I'm coming. Getting like some Crystal Lake vibes here. Back. <laughs> like Bayo, yeah, Bayo dies, and then right at the end of the movie, like a like a half like like a like a zombie Bayo comes out of the water and pulls uh, Felicity out of the boat. <laughs> He's still stoned. Come on, we're kidding around. <laughs> Who's kidding? Hey, hey, you know, you know what Smokey the Bear's middle name is? Smokey the Bear's middle name is. Give up? Yeah. Give up. D. is nuts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's going to hit his brother with the ore on accident. Yeah. He's going to knock him out. The. I got you. The. Smokey the Bear's middle name is the. Get it? You get it? Yeah. <laughs> he gets it. Bring it out. Jack. Yep, there he goes. Whack! <laughs> He's not looking. He's not looking. Here we go. Straighten it out. I'm straightening it. What are you doing? <laughs> what? Straighten it out. Nope. <laughs> that look was fooling around. Oh no. Hi. <laughs> You're gonna kill your brother with weed and an ore. Oh my. Hey. Mikey. I don't even know how you could see shit in that. Help! Help! The shape of Bale. <laughs> Get him, Bayo. Yeah, the music was pretty captivating. Oh, he's, he's alive. You got any of that weed, man? Uh, you, you, you slipped. Hey, you with you. I almost didn't make. Okay, so we got how many? We got like eight minutes left. And I have no idea where this is going. Is he going to get his act together or is he going to go like on? Is he going to go harder? Is he, is he going to be giving handies on the street corner? Is he going to be in West Hollywood? Shaking it? Shaking his moneymaker? What do we got? I almost didn't save you. Still riddles. <laughs> Could 
Tal. These they, they had to like sprinkle water on his face. He's got to ace his test and get his nerdy blonde girl and then steal his brother's girl. Then he's going to buy a Toyota during Toyota. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I, I'll take, I don't know, man. From what I saw at Donna, I, 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 yeah, if I had to choose, I'll take Donna over uptight ass Felicity. Donna looks like she's a lot of fun. Well, I was actually trying to like, you know what? Either one of these endings is plausible. Yeah, let's see. You know how long and how hard I've trained for this meet? Oh, what? He can't hide that fucking accent, even though it looks like they're supposed to be from the Midwest. You know how hard I track, I train for this fucking meet. Yeah. I'm sorry. And it's all over because you were stoned. It's all over. Ooh. <laughs> Get out. Go on, get get out, get out of here! Ooh, you fucked me up. I, I missed my meeting. Ooh, Just get out, get out of here! I just came back from refing a base uh, a basketball game. What happened? Who taught you how to do this stuff? Yeah, I'm just fine. What happened? What the I know, is he like paralyzed or something? Or did he just, I mean, he's clearly not brain damaged. You know, if anything, all it did was just make his Brooklyn accent a little stronger. What the hell happened? Well, would somebody speak up? What happened? Nothing. I was clowning around. It was my fault. I had decided to go swim in front of the boat, and then I, I smacked right into a tree. Jack saved my life. I mean, well, technically he did. He, he, he ended it, almost ended it, too. Oh. Oh. I like the music when he was getting stoned. The music was better. That's the most accurate part of the movie is the music got better when he when he was stoned. Jack, my man, I just got some dynamite smoke. Come on. Only dopes use dope. No, thanks. <laughs> Urban Tunsis. That's my favorite Tunsis skit. Where they spoofed on Urban Cowboy. Because the best part is Dana Carvey's hilariously bad John Travolta impression. And there's a scene where the right before Toontzis crashes the car. And Deborah Winger's like, are we sure? You sure we should be letting Toontzis drive? I mean, he had all them tequila shooters. And he's like, no, I think he's okay. Plus he had a big plate of tacos or something. Hi. 
I'm not high now. My name is Jack. Not Super Jack or Stone Jack. Just plain old Jack. Your hair looks terrible. Nice to meet you, Jack. I'm just playing Felicity. Oh, isn't that fucking adorable? That was like the lamest ending. I, I mean, like out of the three, I thought like that was that was the worst fucking peanut butter teeth. We'll return after these messages. Some kids know only one way to leave their mark on the world. This problem can't be covered up, but it can be solved. Support the build solution. Well, yeah, Felicity was peanut butter teeth. Wait. Now I'm taking time for milk because it tastes so good to me. Yeah, we're making time for milk to get nutrition. Just drink a shitload of milk. And naturally. And then hawk up phlegm all day because you've been drinking fucking milk. When I take time, when we take time, it's any time you see. I'll look for milk. We'll ask for milk. It's time for milk and me. Spending time with friends means taking time for milk. Milk's got a lot going for you. It's time, yes, it's time for milk and me. Sharing each and every day. And caring to help you on your way. Man, they pushed milk hard in the 80s, man. Yeah, the American Dairy Association. You're like, we got to get rid of this fucking milk. I know. My wife's lactose intolerant, which was something that didn't really develop. She didn't really start to develop that until later in life. And the only time I, I have milk is with cereal and like Oreo cookies. But otherwise, like, yeah, I don't. Ugh. And then we'll cut the education budget. In our children's future. And lower the standards. I'll let them stay. They're really having fun. Who says car problems can't be fun? Mattel introduces the new portable Hot Wheels service center. I think I had that as a kid. I had something like that. Unsweetened vanilla almond milk and cookies and or milk. Try it. Legit fact, I haven't eaten a bowl of cereal in 25 years. I should at least just eat one for fun. We all had that bullshit. I had something like this. I used to have, uh, see, this is one of my earlier toys, though. I do remember, oh, God, I don't remember a lot of the toys I had. I mean, I remember, like, the Transformers, G.I. Joe, He-Man, um... Everyone had that babysitter who had that. Um, I remember Mask. That You know, out of all the toys that I had growing up, like the Mask toys were, were still my favorite. Here for your children. Looks like he needs a new set of tires. A new set of tires? The more problems. <laughs> new set of tires? Look at this fucking kid. Like he needs a new set of tires. A new set of tires? Ugh. Kid. What is going on with those teeth? The more problems they find... The yeah, I remember that thing. Yeah, and the fake fucking stupid car wash and the fake people who were like giant compared to the car. Proportions are all off. Total bullshit. More fun they'll have. And while you're here, better hey, check the tr Hey, that's Wayne. That's Kevin Arnold's brother. 
transmission. And when they're all through playing, it folds right up to carry away. Mattel's new Hot Wheels service center. Who says car problems? That was totally Wayne. Can't be fun. Bayo getting ready to lay some mayo. Consultant Dr. Sidney Cohen. Fred and Blank Fine, Joanne Feinstein, Nan Bernstein. There's a lot of Steins in here. The moral of the story is get fucking high. Don't don't fucking hang out with squares like Bayo and, and peanut butter teeth. You know, hook up with Donna. I bet Donna likes to party. Let's go back here. Can we find Donna? That was a that was the best scene of the movie was Donna. Oh Donna. There she is. Come on, where is she? Go back to Donna. Get down to work. Yeah, I'm a fan of Donna. She was on that toot. Look at that. With that top and them shorts, them hot pants. Come on. His brother was pimping her out. I'll see you guys later. Okay, then. Oh, I want to meet Donna. Damn it. We don't even know who played Donna. Can we find out here? Scott Bayo. I, I had the IMDb, IMDb page up. Looking at the cast here. It doesn't even say who plays Donna. But yeah, Largo Woodruff was Peanut Butter Teeth. Um, the only, like I had said in the beginning, the only movie of note that she was in was a movie that came out a year after this one called The Fun House, directed by Toby Hooper of Texas Chainsaw Massacre fame. This, uh, this shitty movie was directed by John Hersfeld, who also directed a bunch of TV movies and TV shows. He also did a movie that I had mentioned called Two Days in the Valley, which the only reason in 1996 and the only reason to watch that movie is to see a 20 something topless Charlize Theron. Other than that, it's not the greatest movie. Yeah, she could be a contender for a plump babe. We just we got to get a good shot of her here. I'll see you guys later. Okay. Then. There she is. Donna's very pretty. Why was she not in the movie more? She just walked out with a, some plate of bullshit and ah. Yeah, the movie is just the movie's not good. It's got some good actors in it. It's got Eric Stoltz, uh James Spader, Jeff Daniels, Danny Aiello, you know. But it the movie just kind of Terry Hatcher's in it. I don't think she gets nude. I'd have remembered that. But uh yeah, it's an alright movie. Anyways, I'm gonna take a break and then I mean we got at least a half an hour left. So I think we're gonna do a uh I don't remember enough. The last time I saw it was literally in two thousand. As I, I remember because I remember renting it because I was living in Phoenix for a short bit. And my roommates and I we rented it. That was the last time I saw it. But anyways, uh, we'll do some uh, Showtime at the Apollo. I think we're going to start off, we're going to start with the Steve Harvey arc now, which is going to go for quite a while. I think we're done with Sinbad now. Uh, you just want to creep at Donna? Look at her, man. Mm, look at her with that plate of whatever. So... Um, here... I'll take a quick break here and I'll queue up some showtime and we will be right back. <laughs>
I will send you the, the links, buddy. Oh, oh fuck yeah. yeah, you are the fucking whip shit of all fucking shitter bombers. That's right. We are. We are the fucking whip shit of all shitter bongers here on the plump. And we also are all about that Apollo Amateur Night. It's showtime at the Apollo. At the Apollo. It's Amateur showtime. Night. At the Apollo. Another edition of Showtime at the Apollo. <laughs> yeah, he lives in. That's right. Tear your boot right off. Tear your foreskin right off. And so we we didn't do this segment last week. I don't know. I don't remember the last time we did it. This is probably the closest thing to a regular segment we do on the Plump, where we uh, we watch some old clips of Showtime at the Apollo, which used to come on. After SNL, back in the day, uh, if you if you stayed up late, if you were a true OG and you stayed up after you know, uh, and to watch SNL, if you stayed up and you you continued to watch NBC, Showtime at the Apollo came on, and they had a segment. They had a, a segment on the show called Amateur Night, where basically people would just come up and. Uh, just basically literal amateurs would come up and the uh they would they would perform they'd sing they'd dance they'd you know do stand up comedy ventriloquism whatever the fuck and the ultimate judges of the performances was the crowd if the crowd hated you they let you know real quick the crowd the Apollo crowds are notoriously brutal. They do not hold back. So we are beginning our Steve Harvey arc uh, of Showtime at the Apollo. We've got quite a few. This is going to last us a while. We can milk this cow for quite a while here. For amateur night with Steve Harvey. Thank you. All right, all right. I'd like to welcome everybody out to the... Yeah, this is Mustache Steve Harvey... The uh, the suits haven't quite gotten to their full size yet, you know. He hasn't reached full suit capacity yet, but uh, this is early Steve Harvey. This is before, like, this is pre mainstream Steve Harvey. So he was a little like he was definitely a lot edgier back then. World famous Apollo Theater, and this is the world famous amateur night. Are you ready? All right, I gotta explain the rules to you. If you don't know the rules by now, I don't know where you've been, but here they go. We're gonna bring out five contestants. Yeah, it was before, Once they come it was out, before he sold out to Whitey. <laughs> Steve, that dude does so much shit, though, man. Like, I wanna say he hosts, he does Family Feud. Does he still do that? And then he hosts, like, radio shows. He, he used to have his own talk show. I don't know if he still has that shit, because I haven't watched TV during the day in over a decade. Network television. All right, the guy's all over the place. Out here, they do their thing, sing, dance, whatever. Hopefully, they do it well. If you like them, you're going to do what? 
Like, the man must have like some some child some alimony child support. I don't know what the fuck. He's got a he's got a mortgage. I don't know what he's got going on. And on the other hand, if they ain't got no business in here, you gonna do what? Well, them the rules, and that's simple. At the end of the show, the person with the most applause wins and comes back next week. You ready for the show? We're going to bring out your first contestant. Your first contestant is Mr. George Tyson. Come on, y'all. Nice hand for George. I can already hear the crowd getting restless. They don't like this guy. All right. They're smelling fear. George is the winner from last season. Okay, well, maybe he'll do all right. Uh, George, where are you from? I'm from Kinston, North Carolina. All right. And I understand you're a radio winner. What station did you win on, George? <laughs> His shirt fit is weird. It, it's kind of, he looks like he's uncomfortable in that shirt. He's, I'm, I'm, I'll be honest with you. 92.7 The Beat in Jacksonville, Florida. 92.7 The Beat. And George going to go out and do a number. Baby, I'm ready. Come on, y'all. Nice hand for George Tyson. It's all about basically his show is mornings. Basically, his show is black people talk about relationships and they play a funk tune and then they go back to talk about relationship problems. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, it's like... <laughs> Baby, it's time for me. To give you all the love you need. Oh, yeah. And baby, I know that you deserve the best. I'm loving that muted guitar, though. That pop, 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 that's the best part. And I can't keep treating you like I treat the rest and say that I'm ready, girl. All of my love. Holy shit. Let's put the camera on the two whitest assholes in the crowd. Take my heart in your hand and do whatever you want to do with it, baby. Hey, my love, my love grows deeper than the eyes can. I don't know. 92, let's, we'll find out. He'll introduce the band. See, you see, I made mistakes before, so Ooh. won't you please forgive me? Oh, there's a season ticket holder right there. She's in every show. Oh, baby, to give you all of my love and all of my kisses. See, I don't want to play no more. I don't want to play no more, baby. To give you every little piece, every little part of me, baby. Don't mess with me, baby. I've got to. Women and I don't wanna yeah, yes, and come oh, yeah. on and ooh, baby, baby. Thank you. Right. Oh, shit. This is George Tyson. George Tyson. Got the big women standing up. In the high. All right, George. All right, we're gonna bring out contestant number two. How about a nice hand for evangelist Cora Boutry? Evangelist? All right, Cora, how are you? This evening? Where are you from, darling? Queens, New York. All right. So come on, y'all, big hand for Cora Boutry. Go ahead, Cora. I'm about to fuck some shit up, y'all. Oh, she's fu she's fallen. Those simple things that I want to know. The crowd is turning. And the memory from me. I'm, I'm kind of That's right. Push through it, honey. All right, now, Cora Boudry, 
She survived, Singing her man. heart out. Yes, Lord. My, 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 my. All right. We're going to keep it stepping, y'all. We got contestant number three. We got a group coming out. Baby Boy and the Ebony Sounds. Baby Boy and the Ebony Sounds. Oh, boy. All right. Here they come. All right. Come on out. Step up a little bit. Come the crowd's judging them already. Oh, boy. Look at that thing. Look at that. Closer, brother. Backstory and always standing. All we know is that she's been in like when we were on our Sinbad arc, she was in every episode. You always see her because when she gets going, she stands up and she's, she's always wearing like a glittery top and she's got that little afro going. And she's in every episode. So we just started calling her the season ticket holder lady because she's in every episode. That's all right. How y'all doing? Come on, baby. <laughs> is, that, <laughs> is that Big Daddy Crutch over there? Uh, let's introduce yourselves. What's your name? Reggie. Ricky? Ricky. Clarence. Cornell. Okay, which one is Baby Boy? All right, this baby. Is, who, who would you call these guys? <laughs> the weaker mother died. What would you call these guys? Right? Like, uh. <laughs> boys to ugly men. Baby boy right here in Ebony Sound. Where y'all from, baby boy? Wilson, North Carolina. Some bowling team. Yeah. <laughs> Bowls to men. Wilson, North Carolina. Wilson, North Carolina. Come on, y'all. Y'all show your love one time for baby boy and the Ebony Sounds. Y'all go ahead. <laughs> All right. My, my expectations are quite high now. This guy's like, he's like, I want to like you. I want to like you, but I'm not feeling it. I don't know if it's my, if I had to give you my opinion, I think the band's making them sound better than they are. Do the guys on it's like the guys on either end have like a spoiler on the front of their head. Uh, the amateur competition continues right after this. That was fucking I don't know, that was fucking lame. Those guys were I, I was not impressed. Oh shit, we got a drummer. Yeah. Welcome back, y'all, to the famous Apollo Theater. I gotta introduce y'all somebody. The baddest band in the It was it wasn't a spoiler, it was a deflector shield. Land, how about a big hand for Frank Owens and the boys in the band right here? Okay. All right. So we're still in the Frank Owens era right here. <laughs> That's all right. The next contestant, are you ready for him? Your next contestant is an extraordinarily funky drummer. His name is Alton Greenwood, better known as A.G. Greenwood. So come on, y'all, make him feel welcome. All right. How you doing, brother? Where you from? I think this is the first time we, we've seen a, like a, just a drummer come up on stage. That's, um, I like this, with his uh, Gordon Gartrell shirt. A.C. D.C. A.C. No, I said, where you from? Atlantic City. All right. Brothers from Atlantic AC. City. He's an extraordinarily funky drummer. Go and do your thing, baby. Big hand for A.C. Greenwood. A.C., motherfucker. All right. 
do you want to? What do you want to say? This guy, he learned how to play in church. Say, pop that pussy. Pop, pop. Oh, shit. she was going to go a little longer there freak of the week tell me are you a freak the funky drummer all right all right welcome welcome your next con- yeah we haven't we haven't gone we haven't hit ray chu and the crew though I, I i believe you though testing is from miami florida why don't y'all show your love for danielle williams all right okay I understand you're a good singer and good to look at. All right. Did anybody inspire you in, in particular, Danielle? Yeah, I was kind of waiting for like a big finale, like like just a crazy like roll across the set. Yeah. Like if you're gonna if you're gonna cut it short, like kill it. Um, I like Mariah Carey, Chris Walker, um, Anita Baker. Okay, well that's good. What you gonna sing for us tonight? Get here. Get here. All right. Danielle Williams, get here. Come on, y'all, make her feel good. She had, a little, she had a little cookie monster there. I mean, she's all right. It, it, she's she falls into that category where, I, like, like she's all right, but who cares? You know. Nobody's gotten booed off yet. I'm disappointed. All the contestants onto the stage. Uh, nobody got booed off. Stage. Let's bring back all the contestants. I think it's either the first guy or, or, or uh, bowls to men. Okay, everybody made it. A talented crew tonight. Or bowls to pins, whatever it is. Where is the vivacious Kiki? Yes. Wow. Man, her skirt's getting shorter every time. Mm, looking good there, Kiki. I like that fuchsia. All right. George Tyson. (laughs) 
Cora Boutry. No. Baby boy in the ebony sign. Oh, no. These guys are just rough looking, man. They look like the <laughs> botched clones of boys to men. Alton Greenwood, the funky drummer. Yep. Danielle Williams. And... Man, look at the talons on her. Uh-oh. We have a tie. Oh, no. Danielle Williams and George Tyson. What? I'm going for George Tyson. Okay, here we go. Let's show you love for George Tyson. Let's show you love for Danielle Williams. Nope, he's got it. Our winner, George Tyson. George Tyson, Jacksonville, Florida. All right, George, how you feel? I feel great now. Uh, he feels great. We'll be back. Y'all stay tuned with more Showtime at the... So I'm, I'm a little dis... I mean, this was a good one. Don't get me wrong, but like nobody got booed. Like, I want to do one more. I think we should do one more because I want to see at least one person get booed off. I need to I need to have a Sandman appearance before I cut this stream. Apollo. Next. I'd like to welcome everybody. Oh, and he, looking sporty, Steve. Look at look at that in his cabana wear. Everybody to the world famous Apollo Theater and the world famous Apollo Amateur Night, where we've made more stars on this stage than any other stage in the country. Uh, we're going to get this thing started, but we need to inform you of the rules. The rules are simple. We got five contestants. Each one of them come out and do their thing. Now, you, the great Apollo audience, decides what's happening. Well, see, what I liked about the one thing I will say I like about Steve over Sinbad was like Sinbad was all about like, hey, you know, positive, have a good time, all right. And, like, Steve, like, if the crowd got, like, shitty, if the crowd got ornery, like, he wasn't afraid to call them out on their bullshit. See, we like a family. And if we like you and you're a member of the family, we let them know by showing our love and we're going to do what? Yeah. Now, just like a good family, you know they done strayed away. And you can't let them go on thinking that they got it going on and they ain't. And if that's the case, we got to let them know and we're going to do that how? Lord, Lord, we don't want that to happen. So to get things started, are you ready? I guess what I'm saying is he had more stage presence. For your first contestant. Yeah. All right, your first contestant is the winner from last week. How about a nice hand for George Tyson? Yeah. All right. Oh, he's all purple. Rocking the, <laughs> the, the grimace prison outfit. All right, George, welcome back. Baby, I'm ready. All right, once again, you're from where, George? Kinston, North Carolina. Okay, and what you gonna do for us this week? Well, I'm gonna try with the same song. Gonna try with the same song. We're going out there and give it all you got. George Tyson, everybody. They had the, gr I heard about the Grimace shakes. Like, they brought Grimace back. Grimace had been out of the fold for a while, you know? And, you know, every time I think of Grimace, I always think of that story. And I don't know if this is a true story or not about the, uh, the, the Grimace had an uncle named Uncle O Grimacy, and they used him as a mascot to introduce the Shamrock Shake. Like back in the late 70s, early 80s or whatever, when they first did it. And there was a story that... Yeah, they were introducing the Shamrock Shake at a local pub in Boston. And the guy that they got, they got a real Irishman to wear the green Uncle O'Grimacy outfit. And apparently a brawl or a fight started because the guy that was in the, the Irishman that was wearing the Grimace outfit had made a statement that 
the only good British British soldier is a dead British soldier because <laughs> he had I guess he was a big supporter of the IRA. <laughs> wasn't a very wasn't good for McDonald's PR campaign and they had to drop drop uh, Uncle Lil Grimacy after that. Baby, it's time for me to give. I say bring back Uncle Lil Grimacy, man. That dude was hardcore. You all the love you need. See, baby, I know that you deserve the best. Right? And they ought to like they ought to lean into the fucking revolutionary angle. Right? Hi, one man's terrorist is another man's freedom fighter. Hey, have a shamrock shake, you capitalist bastards. And I can't keep treating you like I treat the rest and say that I'm ready, girl. All of my love, take my heart in your hand and do whatever you want to do with it, baby. Hey, and my love, my love grows deeper than the eyes can see. You see, I've made mistakes before, so won't you please forgive me, oh baby, to give you all of my love and all of my kisses. See, I don't want to play no more, I don't want to play no more, baby, to give you every little piece, every little part of me, baby. Just ask me and I'll give it to you, baby. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Come on, give it up, y'all. Show your love. See, she's got her sparkly top on again, man. For Mr. George Tyson. All right. Your next <laughs> Shreddy tender. <laughs> Shreddy tender ass. Performer is all the way from Atlanta, Georgia. He is from Nigeria originally. He's a West African comic. Why don't y'all make him feel real welcome in the house tonight for you, though? All right, here we go. You don't. Oh boy, stand up comics, you gotta really knock people's fucking socks off on this shit if you're a stand up. All right, oh, you don't. All right, brother, how you doing? All right. You look comfortable? Yes, sir. You feel good? Uh huh. All right, I understand you in school in Atlanta. What, what, what do you study? Yeah, I'm going to law school in Atlanta, Georgia. All right, well, that's great. Brother trying to be a lawyer and got some comedy for us. Go on out there and do it to him, you dope. You dope from Nigeria. Apollo, what's happening? <laughs> My man could stand, could he? <laughs> yeah, my name is Udo from Nigeria, West Africa. It's rough, it's, t it's rough for me. A lot of people don't believe I'm African. <laughs> I guess I'm supposed to show pictures of me swinging from trees so they can believe me. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> nope. So far he's gotten one joke out. Yeah, I live in New York. <laughs> he got one joke out. There he is. Get out of here, you fucker. Woo. Sandman just shot the boy. I ain't think it took all that. <laughs> Your next contestant is from Dallas, Texas. She was a winner on K104, home of Tom Joyner, the fly jock. How about a big hand, y'all? Make her feel real welcome from Rachel. He, he got that one joke out. He's like, ah, shit. I, I just, I'm done. Wade. 
Rachel Wade. Oh, Rachel, how you doing? Oh, we got something in the oven, don't we? Yes, we're doing. Well, that's all right. How both y'all doing? We're doing fine. You taking care of it? Yes, I am. Well, that's beautiful. What you gonna do for us tonight, Rachel? I'm gonna do Sweet Love by Anita Baker. Jesus Christ, when she walked out, I said, I bet she's gonna sing Anita Baker. Like, I thought that in my head, but I didn't say it out loud. Sweet love, a brand new mother about to go out there and blow. Sweet love, make her feel good, y'all. Come on, Rachel Wade. With all my heart, oh boy. You, baby. She's like a caricature of her. Stay with me. No. We'll see my arms. She's. Hey, like if Jim Carrey was impersonating Anita Baker. We'll hold you, baby, never leave, cause I believe I'm in love. Sweet love, hear me calling out your name. I feel no shame, cause I'm in love. Sweet love, no. How is I'm not no. always be this way. There's no stronger love in this world. I'll never go. She's just overdoing it, man. Like she needs to back like like she took she she like, you know, like put a little coke on her finger and ran it across her gums right before she went out. Can't be wrong. Don't you know this is where you belong? Oh, sweet, what was that? Oh, sweet, lovely, baby. Stay right here. That fucking striped shirt guy. famous Apollo Theater. Before we go any further, we can't keep moving along without giving credit where credit is due. We got to show our love for the main man, then the boys in the band, Frank Owens and the boys, y'all, right here. Yeah. How y'all feel? Y'all looking good over there. Like them outfits. All right. Thank you much, y'all. Hey, listen, we're going to get this party started. Y'all ready for your next contestant? Yeah, I'm surprised that one lasted all the way through. Uh, all right, your next contestant is all the way from, I don't know, it ain't on the card, but he here, y'all. Oh, I remember you. How you doing, Chris? Where you from, Chris? Hey, right, man. What's with 90s and the fucking mustard shirts? I'm from Macon, Georgia. You're from Macon, Georgia? All right. And what got you here at the Apollo? How'd you get here? The Greyhound bus. The Greyhound? Kristen caught the bus all the way from Georgia. Y'all got to make this boy feel real good. Go on out there. Make him Georgia. That's all right. Where's Steve from? Is he from Chicago? I don't know where he's originally from. I want to go. I want to go. I want to go. I want to go.
He was gonna sing, but he he was having a diabetic stroke. Two Sandmans. What if what if Sandman did a shitty performance and they'd have to bring out like Sandman Junior to escort Sandman Senior off the stage? Starting to wear Sandman out, y'all. Your next contestant <laughs> is Tawana L. Marks. Show your love, y'all, for Tawana Marks. Oh. Well, you look nice, Tawana. Where you from, darling? I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh, North Carolina. Yeah, son of Sandman. You guys know, I remember that. I, I think I sent that link to you guys a while ago. Like, Sandman was an OG, man. He was doing amateur nights back in, like, the 60s and 70s. Back when, like, if they didn't like you, if when they would do amateur nights back then, like, if you sucked, they would throw bottles and shit at you. <laughs> and he won so many amateur nights that they had to, like, they had to put a rule on it. I think he won, like, 25 in a row or some shit. Carolina. Well, they got some talent down there, don't they? Like, basically, he was like the gladiator that won his freedom. Now, I understand uh, you're going to sing a gospel rendition and the name of the song? We Shall Behold Him. Oh, why'd you pick that song, Tawana? Because I love the Lord and I want to sing his praises with all the glory. Well, that's all right. All right, she's going church, so she's already got him on their side. All right, let's show you love, y'all. Raleigh, North Carolina, Tawana Marks. The sky shall unfold, preparing his entrance, and the stars shall applaud. I'm still gonna vote for Grimace. I think he li I liked Grimace. Him with thunders of praise. Yes, we shall be home. <laughs> oh no. Yes, we shall be home. Oh man, she's taking a nosedive. Pull up, man. Pull up. Pull up. You're going down. Oh, no. <laughs> she got a white lady all of a sudden real quick. Oh my God, she even botched that. Did you hear that? If you if you go out there before you even sing and you start like, you know, you start like praising Jesus and all that, usually you get the crowd on your side. If you could if the crowd still turns on you after that, you must be terrible. Some of y'all ain't scared of lightning or something. We're gonna bring back all the contestants. And where is the lovely Kiki Shepherd? Ooh. Uh. Now that is a peppermint I would like. I would like to unwrap. I was trying to think of something like that. Yes, yes, yes. My Lord, my Lord. Ain't you glad? All right. How about it for George Tyson? All right. Let's hear it for Rachel Wade. Oh, bullshit. Yeah, even she's shocked. She's like, what the fuck? I wasn't that good. Let's hear it for Tawana L. Mars. Yeah. We have a winner from Dallas, Texas, K104, Rachel Wayne. Yeah. 
I dispute this. Sister Gail done done it. All right, how you feel, darling? Let's get you. I feel good. You feel good. How you think they feel? It better be one. It better be one. All right, somebody struggling at the house. Y'all show your love for Rachel Wade one more time. And stay with us, y'all, because we'll be right back with more Showtime at the Apollo. Okay. Oh, shit, no, we're not going to do another one. All right. Um, where is it? Oh, there it is. All right. All right, guys. I'm glad we got, uh, we got this out of the way. I would like to think, thank, uh, where the fuck is my, uh, hold on here. There it is. All right. Um, I want to thank, uh, I don't want to thank that. I would like to thank Bayo. I'd like to thank, uh, what was that one chick's name? Mongo? I don't remember her name. Um, I want to thank Donna. Definitely. I want to thank Donna. Um, I want to thank the guy with the dead tooth and the stupid laugh. Uh, I want to thank Kiki Shepard. I want to thank Sinbad. I want to thank Steve Harvey. Um, I want to thank Bud, Ian. I want to thank Jay, who will be watching it later. Garrett. Whoever else watches, you know, if you're somebody out of the normal cro crowd of people that watches this, let, let us know. Let us know. Leave it. Leave a comment if you're not watching it live. So, I don't know. Until next week. This was a great one. I, I had a lot of fun, you know. Until next time. I don't know what I'm going to watch, but uh, we'll make it fun. back the hair from your eyes and the love on your face is so real that it makes me wanna cry and I know that my soul is insane Accent, which is That's beautiful. Madonna can go to hell as far as I'm concerned. She's a dick.